In talking about the more serious topics between the Christian religion and Islam, one of the single greatest issues is that of salvation. While we will talk about how Christians get saved according to the Bible and how Christians should feel about their assurance of salvation, we need to be able to contrast the confidence of preservation with what Islam teaches its followers. The main question that should be asked is this, can I know that I'm going to heaven when I die? Let's ask the alleged prophet of Islam what he thinks. Surah 46 verses 8 to 9 Translated, Pictal Or say they, he hath invented it, say, O Muhammad, if I have invented it, still ye have no power to support me against Allah. He is best aware of what ye say among yourselves concerning it. He sufficeth for a witness between me and you, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, I am no new thing among the messengers of Allah, nor know I what will be done with me or with you. I do but follow that which is inspired in me, and I am but a plain warner. That was the supposed last prophet telling you that he had no idea what will happen between him and Allah, let alone everyone else. If Muhammad was such a great prophet, as Muslims claim, shouldn't Muhammad have known whether he was doing what God wanted him to do so he could teach others how to be saved? This is one of the most straightforward proofs that Muhammad himself had no real guarantee of being saved even for himself. This is not the only account relating to assurance by Muhammad, as we can learn about in the extra Quranic material written by eyewitnesses of Muhammad. Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 5, Book 58, Hadith 266 Narrated Um al-Allah Uthman fell ill and I nursed him till he died, and we covered him with his clothes. Then the Prophet came to us and I, addressing the dead body, said, O Abu As-Sahib, may Allah's mercy be on you. I bear witness that Allah has honored you. On that the Prophet said, How do you know that Allah has honored him? I replied, I do not know. May my father and my mother be sacrificed for you, O Allah's Apostle, but who else is worthy of it, if not Uthman? He said, As to him, by Allah, death has overtaken him, and I hope the best for him. By Allah, though I am the Apostle of Allah, Yet I do not know what Allah will do to me. By Allah, I will never assert the piety of anyone after him. Think about this for a moment, and remember this when we compare Christianity to Islam. Muhammad, the presumed prophet of Allah, could not tell you if a professing believer of his own revelations had entered paradise or not. While there are many sources that we could go to in showing the utter lack of hope in Islam, let's look at what Jesus, the Christ, told Martha, who just lost her brother, and the affirmation that he provided to her in response. John 11 verses 25 to 27 Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She saith unto him, Yea, Lord. I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. 
Jesus did not rebuke her for believing this and showed that he is the only way to eternal life. He later went on to bring her brother, Lazarus, back from the dead, while Muhammad couldn't even attempt to do what Jesus did. Muhammad couldn't even assure his followers that he himself was a saved man. Christ put the hope of everlasting life in believing in himself, as he is God in the flesh. And if there was someone who you could believe could provide you assurance of your salvation, would it be a man who was all talk and no show, or one who could walk on water, heal the sick, bring sight to the blind, and even bring back someone from the dead, eventually even himself? One answer is where hope is found, and that is in Christ alone.